they sent out a video. Anybody see the video of me doing like takedowns and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm about to watch it over there. Okay. So it's a lot of different ways you can take people down, as you can see. Um, but this is just one that we do in T position. So this is our, um, so you're here, and he's throwing his one, two, into a good stance. Go right in line. So if I don't block, it should, it should be hitting me, like in the face. Okay. Right? okay. So here, one, two, and then into the shoulder, boom. See how my hand is here and this hand is here? It's already set up for me to jump into T position. I'm just gonna circle. And once I grab with this T position, it's very important to have a splitting energy. So the energy of the head and the body tilting them back while the hand keeps the hip in place, really important for the takedown. Then from here, I circle half a step, and then this leg I put behind this foot right here, and I just lift. Boom, boom, setting down. I'm coming on top now. So you might want to start there. Yeah, so he's starting to get, uh, he could use control me at the hip with his feet. Now lift your hip up. There you go, and then slide it back. So right from there, he should be able to do his technical stand up. If I punch, cause one, two, hits my shoulder, boom, comes to T position. He bends me back. So I'm not gonna go down unless you bend me back. There you go, now he trips my foot. I go down, boom, so immediately I start framing. I can put a foot in the hip, get him to back up. And if I go that way, and since this foot is up, I'm on this side, protecting my head or hand here. So you can try and come in. So as he comes in, the hardest thing to remember is that it's the bottom leg. So I talked about that last time. So if I'm down, He's coming in. A lot of times you want to kick like this, right? But that's not going to give me a good stand up. Yeah, I can do like a skip. I can skip back with both feet like that, which works. But this one is more efficient because I can go from pushing him back straight into standing up like that. So that's that's why I wanted to use the bottom leg. All right. So the entry again, coming in, punches. Wow, I hit with the shoulder. I wrap him up. Grab him behind the tricep, get to the side, lean him back, boom. So I'm using my head and my body, it's blocking the hip, and then a small circle in, and then up, boom, I come on top. Yes. <laughs> so he turns his back. <laughs> so turn and put your feet between us, that's the first thing. No, don't, yeah, don't sit up, turn, yeah, turn your back. Now, put us here. And you start making space. You start making so you can scoop back, start building your hops, bring your elbows into your hand. Yep. Yeah. And then kick with the bottom foot. Yeah, lift this hip up to the side. And then follow through. There you go. There you go. Good. So you want to bend me back. Remember, I'm standing up tall. There, that's now trickle. Go down. Boom. So first thing I want to do is I want to start making some space. All right. So he's giving, he's letting me get up, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> that's good. If I can get up, I'm just gonna get up. Coil one, two, shoulder. Damn, that's a shoulder. All right. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Boom. So here, gotta keep my knees in. So even if you can't get in a position right away, just keep them back with your feet until you until you're ready to get up, feel comfortable. Keep your eyes on. Your feet. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> so, so wrap his tricep up because he's gonna, okay. yeah, and then pinch it under your armpit. Okay. Try and pull your arm out, you know. Good. Okay. Yeah. So you don't want to be able to pull his arm out. So lean him back a little bit. Good. And then throw him. Watch. Yeah, he's good. He's not gonna hit his And then throw some punches at him. <laughs> yeah. So. Did a good job. All right, switch. Oh, yeah, he didn't even have the trick. All right. Oh, nice, good. Remember, it's your bottom leg. That's all right. You kept the hand up, you kept the eyes on. So sometimes it may be like that. You never had the urgency to get up, though. You still got up. We just worked on making this move. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Yes. 
right? We have business management, so he's he's got his fist up, right? But I feel safe back here, right? I'm outside of what we call the red zone. Kyle called it the danger donut. So I feel okay right here. So I don't think he can. <laughs> I didn't know he could jump like that. Okay, I wouldn't have did that. All right, so now when I'm in here, boom, this is the red zone. He can punch me, he can kick me, all that stuff, right? This is fighting zone. So this is red zone. This is green zone. All right, so he comes in. Guess what? This is green zone. I'm feeling pretty good right here. So when I take him down, I come on top. Yeah, I think I got him. Oh shit. He comes in. <laughs> got me. Yeah, there you go. Leaves me back. Boom. So he comes in on top of me. So first thing I do is if I can, I'll get this underhook right here. And I shrimp. Watch this. I turn. Boom. It creates the space. And then I don't want to turn and give him my head though. I want to give him my knee or my feet. I want to come back in. And if I put in what we call the knee shields. I can start to extend away, so if he sort of punches, yeah, he can hit my body a little bit, that's okay. Another thing I can do is I can start trying to sweep different things like that. See how he's got his foot base right here? I kind of grab that, kick him over, and then I can get up and run. By grabbing his leg, that's his post. That's what's holding him up. So by stopping that from moving and kicking my foot in the direction of his dead angle, he easily can be swept right over. Here, I kind of grab that, kick him over. And then I can get up and run, or he's back on top. So this is the danger zone. This is I'm in the red zone again, right? So one of the things I can do. Remember before I said um, up close, or there's a certain distance of striking on the feet where I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe right here. Post up, start throwing bombs at my face. I am not safe. This sucks, right? So one way I can get into my green zone again is with that shrimp, shrimp. And I bring the knee shift, I start kicking with the feet. And then when I put my bottom foot, you know, that's my stand up right there. So I'm out of here now. I'm gone already. Right. The other thing we talked about was the guard. So we're not, we're using guard as last resort kind of. But she may take me down again. Let somebody stand up here the camera. <laughs> we're grappling, all of a sudden, whoa. Take that boom. So, see how I immediately like turn into him to kind of face him a little bit. So, he comes down on top of me. All right, so here I'm gonna I pull him into my guard and then I start trying to control his posture. Boom. I get an open hook here at his head. I squeeze with my knees. Boom. So, can you hit me now? Nope. Okay, <laughs> so now this is where my shrimp makes puts me in offensive. I'm gonna do a tiny shrimp first, like to just turn a little bit and then I still close, close back. This is kind of sucking a little bit for him. And then if I want to turn more, I can turn even more. And then I start squeezing here, rotate my stomach down. I'm going to take this arm up, bring it here, and then, yeah, take chin down. So I come over here, and you're going to shrimp out. Good, bring your knees in. And then you're going to wrap me up in the guard. You're going to open, pull me down. So if I'm trying to swing, you're just going to block and wrap it. Now wrap it. Grab the back of my head, pull me in close, squeeze your knees together. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. So I cannot, I can't do nothing, right? And now shrimp to the side a little bit. Turn. My left side? Yeah, you can set one foot down, shrimp, and then reclose. Yeah, that sucks. You can squeeze my arm tighter. Oh, yeah. But turn, turn your stomach this way. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Off of that. So most times we want to get up. If you think getting up is kind of risky because the person's all on top of you and you're like, hey, I need to control this person first. Let him spin his batteries out, let him drain down, and then maybe I'll get up after that. So let's do that. Switch partners. Yeah, yeah leaning back. Okay. Use your head. There now. Boom. Mm -hmm. So come on top of him, start hitting. He's gonna He's gonna shrimp. Now, so you can pull her down into the guard too. Yeah, and then open up. She's not letting you. So shrimp, get the knee in. There you go. Now control the back of her head. Wrap, wrap her arm. Now close so she can't strike you. Wrap her up, wrap this arm up. And then shrimp. Shrimp to the side. Mm -hmm. 
And then you can even start you can even start pushing your head away. Now you can come on, you can let go here, bring it on the other side, push your head away. Yeah, you can do all kinds of so if you want to just for the sake of realism you can do your stand-up anytime you want. So if you can't get in the guard, she's struggling to fight, do your technical stand-up. If you can't get in the guard, get in the guard, there you go. So we always, in reality, that's the options that we're gonna have. We're gonna keep them close, not to hit us, and then when the time comes, break away, do your stand-up. So you know, turn, put some, uh, Actually, do whichever one you want. You want to do a stand up, do a stand up. Kick with the bottom leg. Yeah. Good. And then stand up. There you go. And switch. Yeah. Good. 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 There is another option. We don't have time to go into today, but um, in the workshop, we'll, we'll have some fun. We'll explore a lot of different things. But she might, you're, you're athletic, so uh, I don't know how you move from the camera just so we can oh, so. so another option is uh, she may take me down. She may take me down. And so you're standing over me, like you're, you're up on top. So from here, I've got different sweeps I can do to take him down. So with this one, I would grab his ankle, come to his hip, come inside his leg. And I'm gonna push with this foot, pull with this foot. That way, he goes down like that. That's one option. Or if he's got both feet over me, he's trying to rain down blows on top of me. My legs are here, so I grab both ankles and extend up, take it down. I put my hands on his feet, up, and then do my Thanos punch. <laughs> the one that we will use though is the tentative stand up. But as soon as I go down, get right back up. Especially if it's real, right? No mats out in the show. As soon as I go down, boom, I'm thinking, of, oh shit, I'm a kick. Bam. Back up, and then when I come back up, I'm probably gonna lead with another kick, fall through, because there's more times they're gonna be rushing, more times than not, they're gonna be, they see you're down, you're getting up, they're coming at you. So you get up and just be ready for a kick or punch. But those, uh, those, uh, those are called sweeps from the ground, like ankle sweeps, things like that. So those are, those are fun to play with.